Hello and welcome back to Aviation Avi. Go where you feel the most alive. Today we'll be talking about declared distances. So let's get started. There are a few terms we should be aware of before understanding declared distances. To start with, what is a runway? A runway is a defined rectangular area on land aerodrome prepared for the landing and takeoff of an aircraft. So as you can see in the image, this is a runway. And the beginning of that portion of the runway that is usable for landing is called the threshold of the runway. So this becomes the threshold of runway 2, 6. The next is the stopway. A stopway is a defined rectangular area on the ground and it is present at the end of takeoff run available which is also a declared distance which we'll discuss in further slides. And it is prepared as a suitable area in which aircraft can be stopped in case of an abandoned takeoff. Now this abandoned takeoff can be because of various reasons like technical failure, engine failure, fire or various environmental conditions. So basically at the end of takeoff run available for a runway, if there is a rectangular area provided which will cater to abandoned takeoff, then that rectangular area on ground is called the stopway. Next is the clearway. So a clearway is a defined rectangular area on ground or water. So a clearway can be located on ground as well as on water. This clearway should be under the control of appropriate authority and this area is selected and prepared as a suitable area over which the aircraft can make a portion of its initial climb up to a specific height. So clearway is basically a rectangular area which is provided at the end of Tora over which an aircraft can make a portion of its initial climb during takeoff up to a specified height and this area can be over ground and on water also. Now it is time we understand the declared distances. The following are the declared distances that are calculated for each direction of the runway. The takeoff run available or the TORA. The length of the runway declared available and suitable for the ground run of an aircraft taking off is called the TORA. The takeoff distance available or the TORA is the length of TORA plus the length of clearway if it is provided. Third is the accelerate stop distance available or the ASTA, which is the length of TORA plus the length of stopway if it is provided. The fourth is the landing distance available or the LDA, which is the length of TORA minus the length of displaced threshold. Like we discussed, threshold is the beginning portion of the runway that is usable for a landing aircraft. So, if this threshold is displaced up to a certain distance, in that case, we subtract the length of the displaced threshold from TORA to get the LDA. Now, the threshold can be displaced because of mainly three reasons. When there are obstacles on the approach, when the length of the displaced threshold is not capable of bearing the load of the aircraft, or the pavement strength is not sufficient. And third is when there are noise abatement procedures in place. Now let us calculate the takeoff run available or the TORA. When the runway is not provided with a stopway or clearway and the threshold is located at the extremity of the runway, in that case, the four declared distances is normally same for both the runway directions. So let us understand this with an example. We have an example of runway 01 one niner as in the image here. The length of this runway is 4000 meters. So the takeoff run available for runway 01 is 4000 meters. So the TORA here becomes 4000 meters for runway 01. Again, since the end of runway 01 is not supplemented with a clear way, so the TODA becomes 4000 meters as you can see here. Now again, since the end of runway 01 is not supplemented with a stopway, the ASTA becomes 4000 meters as you can see here. Again, 
since the threshold of runway 01 is located at the extremity itself and is not displaced the landing distance available for runway 01 is again 4000 meters you can calculate the same for runway 19 as well moving on let us calculate the takeoff distance available or the toda when the runway is provided with a clearway then the toda will include the length of clearway along with the length of toda let us understand this with a simple example we have our runway 0119er as in the image here and it is to be noted that the calculation of toda begins from the threshold of the runway that we are considering so in this case let us consider the direction of runway 01 starting from the threshold of the runway 01 we see that suppose an aircraft takes off in that case as it takes off it encounters a clear way of 200 meters at the end of runway 01 so the length of toda becomes 4000 meters plus 200 meters that is 4200 meters as you can see here now let us consider the runway direction of 19er as the aircraft takes off in this direction we encounter that there is a clear way of 500 meters end of runway 19er so in this case the toda becomes 4000 meters plus 500 meters that is 4500 meters as you can see in the image here so as we already discussed if a runway is not supplemented with a stopway the asda remains same as the length of tora so we have it as 4000 meters for both the runway directions as you can see here and since as in the image we do not have any displaced threshold in this case so our landing distance available also remains same for both the runway directions now we will be calculating the accelerate stop distance available or the ASTA. So when the runway is provided with the stopway, then the ASTA will include the length of TORA plus the length of stopway. Let us understand this with the example of runway 0119er in the image here. Again for the calculation of ASTA, we start from the threshold of the runway direction we are considering. Firstly, let us consider the direction runway 01. So as an aircraft takes off in this direction, it encounters a stopway of 300 meters in length to accommodate an abandoned takeoff. So in this case, our ASTA becomes 4000 meters of TORA plus 300 meters of stopway, which is 4300 meters as you can see here. Now considering the runway direction 19er, starting from the threshold, an aircraft takes off and it encounters a stopway of 800 meters at the end of runway 19er. So in this case, the ASTA becomes 4000 meters plus 800 meters, that is 4800 meters as you can see here. The other declared distances, that is TODA and LDA, remain same. As in case of TODA, there is no clear way provided for this runway. And in case of LDA, there is no displaced threshold. Now let us calculate the landing distance available or the LDA when the runway has a displaced threshold that is the threshold of the runway is no more located at the extremity of the runway and is displaced by a certain length in that case the LDA will be reduced by the length the threshold is displaced so this is very clear now let us understand an important point a displaced threshold affects only the LDA for approaches made to that particular runway direction and all the other declared distances for operations in the reciprocal directions are unaffected. So let us understand this with an example here. So as in the image, we have a runway of total length of 5000 meters. The length between the two thresholds is 4000 meters and the displaced threshold at the beginning of runway 01 is of 600 meters and the threshold for runway 19er is displaced by 400 meters. So let us start our calculation. We will be starting with the runway direction 01. Now let us consider an aircraft is coming in for landing in the runway direction of 01. So the aircraft coming in making an approach sees that the threshold of runway 01 is displaced by 600 meters. So the remaining length of the runway is available for the aircraft to land. So this becomes the LDA 
for runway 01 which is 4000 meters plus 400 meters that is 4400 meters. This can also be understood as the total length of the runway that is 5000 meters minus 600 meters that is the length of the displaced threshold that is 4400 meters as you can see here. Again, let us consider the runway direction of one liner. In this case, what happens is the aircraft comes in for approach and finds that the threshold of runway one liner is displaced by 400 meters. So the remaining length of the runway is available for the aircraft to land. So the LDA here becomes 4000 meters plus 600 meters that is 4600 meters or the total length of the runway that is 5000 meters minus 400 meters that is 4600 meters as you can see here. I hope with this we have understood all the four runway declared distances. So now we will combine all the situations together in one runway and we will try to find out the declared distances for both the runway directions. So we will be moving a step up. Hope you are ready for it. In all these examples, we have assumed that the length of the runway for which the threshold is displaced has a strength enough to bear the weight of the aircraft. So let us calculate the declared distances for runway 1129 here in the example. Now since we know that declared distances are calculated for each runway direction, so let us consider the direction of runway as 1 1 to start with. So, Tora in this case is the length of the runway that is available and suitable for an aircraft to make its ground run. So, since this portion of the runway can also be used for the aircraft to make a portion of its ground run, Tora starts from here that is 645 meters plus 3465 meters which gives us a distance of 4110 meters. So this becomes the TORA of runway 11. Now let us calculate the TODA that is takeoff distance available which also includes the provision of clear way if it is provided for the runway. Now since if we see for runway 11 there is no clear way provided. So in this case the TODA becomes 4110 that is the TORA plus 0 that is 4110 meters. The third declared distance being ASDA that is accelerate stop distance available which includes the length of stopway when provided. So again let us start from direction of runway 11. So it becomes 645 meters plus 3465 meters that is the TORA of the runway plus 320 meters which is stopway given for runway 11. So, the ASDA for runway 11 becomes 4110 plus 320 that is 4430 meters. Now let us take the fourth declared distance that is the landing distance available. Let us consider an aircraft is coming into land on runway 11. It finds that the threshold of this runway is displaced by 645 meters. So the landing distance available in this case becomes the TORA that is 4110 meters minus 645 meters that is 3465 meters. Now let us consider the declared distances for runway 2-liner. The first being TORA. For runway 2-liner, since the stopway provided for runway 11 can be used by an aircraft that is taken off on runway 2-liner, the TORA for runway 2-liner starts from this location. So, the length of TORA for runway 2 liner includes the stopway of 320 meters, the portion of displaced threshold for runway 2 liner, plus the length here plus 645 meters of displaced threshold of runway 11. So the total length becomes 4430 meters as you can see here. Now let us calculate the second declared distance that is TODA that is takeoff distance available for runway 29. The TORA for runway 29 starts from here. As an aircraft takes off, it follows this path and then comes across a clear bay of 350 meters. So the takeoff distance available in this case becomes a total of 4430 meters 
plus 350 meters which gives 4780 meters as you can see here. Now the third declared distance being accelerate stop distance available which includes the length of stopway if it is provided. For runway 29er there is no provision of stopway at the end of runway 29er. So, so the third declared distance in this case becomes Tora that is 4430 meters plus 0 that is 4430 meters. This becomes the ASDA for runway 29er. The fourth declared distance that is LDA. Let us consider an aircraft is coming in to land on runway 29er. It finds that the threshold of runway 29er is displaced by 1460 meters. So in this case, the landing distance available for this aircraft is 4430 meters minus the length of displaced threshold that is 1460 meters that is 2970 meters. So this is a calculation of all the four declared distances associated with this runway 1129R. You will be amazed to know that you have just calculated the declared distances of runway 1129R of Delhi International Airport other than the provision of clearway of 350 meters which I had added for your understanding. So this brings us to the end of the video. I hope you are clear with the concept of declared distances. Do like, share and subscribe if this video helped you in clearing your concepts and let us know down in the comment section below what more videos you'd like to watch. Do visit our website aviationavi.com. Go where you feel the most alive.